y is a real number if the expression in the square root on the right hand side is greater than or equal to 0. In other words, x plus 1 times x minus 3 divided by x minus 2 must be greater than or equal to 0. Also, note that the denominator x minus 2 should not be equal to 0 for y to be real and therefore x should not be equal to 2. Now evaluate this expression under the square root on the number line. The relevant points are x is equal to minus 1, x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 3. Starting with when x is less than equal to minus 1, x plus 1 is negative, x minus 3 is negative and x minus 2 is also negative. Therefore, the expression x plus 1 times x minus 3 divided by x minus 2 will also be less than or equal to 0. It therefore follows that y is imaginary when x is less than or equal to minus 1. Next consider the interval when x lies between minus 1 and 2. x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 in this interval but x minus 3 and x minus 2 are both less than or equal to 0. Therefore, the value of the expression x plus 1 times x minus 3 divided by x minus 2 will be greater than or equal to 0 in this interval. And therefore, y is real in this interval. Next, consider the interval when x is greater than or equal to 2 and less than or equal to 3 x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 and x minus 3 is less than or equal to 0 and x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 0 in this interval and therefore the value of x plus 1 times x minus 3 divided by x minus 2 is less than or equal to 0 in this interval and so y is imaginary when x is greater than or equal to 2 less than or equal to 3. And finally, consider the value of this expression when x is greater than or equal to 3. x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. And x minus 2 is also greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, the expression x plus 1 times x minus 3 upon x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 0 in this interval. And so y is real when x is greater than or equal to 3. Therefore, to summarize y is real when x is greater than or equal to minus 1 less than or equal to 2 and when x is greater than or equal to 3. Also recall that x should not be equal to 2. Therefore y is real when x belongs to the interval minus 1 to 2 union 3 to infinity, excluding the point x is equal to 2.